Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is still obviously Thursday, August 1st, 2019. I am the Drunk Poker, and it is Be Your Time. It's IPA Day. Happy IPA Day to you. Happy IPA Day to you and to me. All of the hops that we can see. Um, revisiting classic Ontario IPAs, and ones that I love that I probably don't drink enough of, is just a great excuse to talk today. Like, really, when you think about it, being able to just pick you know, beers that maybe you don't buy often enough. Be like, I haven't drank this one tonight. 7.1%. I believe 71 or 80 IBUs. It's some kind of ridiculousness. 80 IBUs. 7.1%. Bone Shaga from Amsterdam Brewing Company. Bone Shook. One of the. Oh, this this one. I mean, it's funny. There, there's certain beers now. I mean, I haven't drank crap beer that long. Four or five years. There's certain beers that are literally iconic to me. I see them, I'm like, oh, yeah, I know that beer. I know that beer so good. And there's nothing wrong with new IPAs. I mean, I, I live in Hamilton. New IPAs all the bloody time here. But there is something about these beers that I continue to go back to. I probably post them a couple times a year. I probably drink them more than that. But I like to talk about them because I, I always think they don't get enough love. Don't get enough love. This is Beagaloo number two. I have seven Spiegeloos now. I got two more last night. Seven Spiegeloos. Um, the funny thing about these, and this one is a much darker orange color than um, Lone Pine or Twin Lone Pine. Twin Pine. Imagine that. Twin Pine. Oh, baby. But um, it's like, you know what? Bone. So there's Lone Pine, Twin Pine. There's Bone Shaker. And then there's, of course, one of my all-time favorite double IPAs that comes from, from Amsterdam Brewing. You know, you know, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to tell you. It's not out right now. It, it comes back. It's going to come back. But I'm not going to tell you. And if, if you know, if you know, you can guess. Guess. Play a guessing game. Such a beautiful beer. Oh man, do I love that beer? I remember when it came out last time. I went and bought eight. Eight. First day. I was like in line. They didn't even have it on the floor yet. I'm eight. But anyways, I digress. I'm gonna escape myself here. Um, let's go back to Bone Shaker. Grapefruit pith, pine. You can smell that toasty malt. That, that bready, bready toasted malt body. But it's gonna with cheers, my friends. To IPA day and, and, and you know, classic, iconic, legendary Ontario craft beer IPAs. Cheers. So this one. Now this is what I love because you're, you're going to go in like this circle of IPAs and, and they're all sort of West Coast leaning but all individually you know taking that inspiration of the West Coast American IPA and translating it into something a different vision. Now Amsterdam's compared to, to, say, another one, is a much more maltier, you know, a lot bigger, bready, toasted malt body, hits of caramel and toffee in there, and then just, like, grapefruit pith, orange, and then piney, piney, piney. It's just piney bitterness. It's funny, though, with all of these IPAs, when I go back and drink them again, I'm like, they're, they're, they're so, there's something clean about them. Um, the, the hop presence, the profile, whatever it is. I think because I've been drinking them so long. And then you go drink dank IPAs and you drink like hazy IPAs. And again, they're great. I don't dislike them. But there's something about revisiting these old ones that is just so good and so much fun to do. So I hope you're enjoying your IPA day. Drinking whatever IPA brings you happiness. I know that's what I'm doing. Cheers, my friends. Enjoy your day. Bones? Shuck. Sure.